tutti da Anteprima Cinema. Vediamo il trailer di Source Code, subito dopo le notizie di oggi. Hey, Sean. Hey. Sean. I took your advice. It was very good advice. Sean. Sean. Look, I can see that you think you know me, but I don't know who you are. My name is Captain Coulter Stevens. You kind of freaking me out. No, 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 no. Talk to me, Sean. Look, I don't know who Sean is, and I don't know who you are. Welcome back, Captain Stevens. Where am I? You are inside the source code. What is the source code? It's a computer program, Captain. Source code enables you to cross over into another man's identity in the last eight minutes of his life. At 7.48 this morning, a bomb exploded on a train outside of Chicago, killing everyone on board. A man named Sean Fentress was on that train. He is now you. Think, Captain, remember back. Who bombed the train? I don't know who bombed the train! Then try again. Wait, no, I... So, what do you think? It's the same train, but it's different. We've been informed there'll be another attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. What would you do if you knew you had less than eight minutes to live? I'd make those seconds count. I want to go back in. I'm going to save her. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Christina is dead. She doesn't have to be. You cannot alter this reality while inside the source code. I'm asking you to have the decency to let me try. What's going on? He's in trouble. Tell me everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Code è un thriller fantascientifico con protagonista Jack Gillenal nei panni di Stevens, un soldato impegnato ad indagare su un attacco terroristico avvenuto su un treno di Chicago. Grazie ad un programma sperimentale del governo chiamato Source Code, il soldato si ritrova nel corpo di uno dei passeggeri, esattamente 8 minuti prima dell'esplosione e quindi della sua morte. In questo breve lasso di tempo, il soldato dovrà capire chi sono i responsabili dell'attentato. Adrian Brody ha vinto la causa contro i produttori del film Giallo di Dario Argento. L'attore, che ha preso parte al film nel 2009, aveva impedito di usare la propria immagine finché non fosse stata pagata la sua performance. Il tribunale ha dato ragione a Brody. Peccato che in Italia il DVD del film è già in vendita. E per oggi è tutto. Arrivederci, Dante Prima Cinema.